John Wooden, best known for coaching UCLA to 10 national championships in 12 years, is also one of Purdue's all-time best players. John Wooden was named a three-time consensus All-American player and the National Player of the Year in 1932 as a Boilermaker. Finding sports memorabilia from that time period is extremely rare. And when John Wooden's 1930s jersey resurfaced in 2018, a popular alumnus made sure it would find a home at Purdue. I'm fully confident uh, that it was uh, uh, worn by John Wooden uh, in the 1930s. It's a piece of history. It's priceless. I mean, there's no doubt in my it's priceless. In the college basketball circles, John Wooden's most known as being the 10-time national champion coach uh, of UCLA. But for Purdue fans and, and uh, fans of the Midwest, uh, he's a three-time All-American from Purdue, the 1932 National Player of the Year. He was built pretty good. He played on hardcore defense, and, but his handling, his ball skills and stuff were, you know, you could see that on tape was pretty amazing. Obviously, the 1930s was a different, uh, very different era of, of basketball. Uh, defense uh, was stressed a lot more than offense. Uh, John Wooden was a, a feisty guard, uh, as legend has it, uh, um, a good shooter, um, and just a very knowledgeable uh, player. The story is that uh, John Wooden uh, gave the jersey to a gentleman by the name of Frank Neff. Uh, the two were classmates uh, at Purdue. Uh, Frank Neff gave it to his grandson, John, uh, who had it in his house uh, for many years, uh, just uh, stowed away uh, safely uh, in, a, in a box. The stuff from the 20s and 30s is really rare, very rare. And college basketball, for sure, and some of Johnny Wooden and being a jersey that he wore, I mean, it's just unbelievable. So many jerseys and other pieces of equipment uh, from that time frame really up uh, into the 70s uh, were, were refurbished, reused, uh, sent down to the junior varsity, maybe the freshman team. I, I'd call it decent shape. I mean, it's got a few moth holes that you'd expect. Uh, one of the letters of Purdue uh, um, is not still fully sewn on. The other ones are. The numbers, uh, the number 13 is very much intact uh, on the back. Uh, something from, from the 1930s uh, I think is pretty phenomenal. Orlando and I are both uh, sports memorabilia uh, collectors and uh, when the jersey uh, uh, came on auction and certainly something that both of us uh, thought would be great uh, to have at Purdue, uh, if not in our own collections. I went online and saw it online, that's how I started to see it, you know, started to see it the first part. So I got to read the descriptions and, the, you know, all the information about it. And, because the estimate was like between ten and ten and thirty thousand dollars. I thought, I really want to win this to put at Bruno's. You know, we got like 10, 12 days before the auction closed and it's already at 39,000. I'm thinking, I gotta find somebody that's got some deeper pockets. First thing I thought of was uh, text your buddy Drew, our buddy Drew, and, and see if he'd be interested in, in having it for his collection. That a lot of people don't realize that, uh, that Drew, Drew Brees is a big Johnny Wooden fan and idolizes him. Orlando made that connection and, and Drew uh, didn't hesitate. I get a response back from Drew and, and there's one word that goes, wow. He goes, we got to get this. And I thought, really thought we could get it for around 70, 70, 80,000. And Drew said, well, I'm going to, I'm, I'm in, I'm into a hundred, I'm, I'm in for a hundred thousand. And when I kicked a hundred thousand dollar bid, it went automatically went to 150. So we've got a little competition going. At that point in time, he says, do whatever you got to do to get it. And we never discussed a final number. Uh, when all was said and done, the, the final price, including all the various fees that go with auctions. It was $264,000 and just shows uh, not only his generosity but his love for, for his alma mater and, and the fact that you know, he wanted to have this uh, uh, and, and loan it to Purdue uh, just speaks to all the good things that uh, Drew epitomizes. We had a John Purdue Club event uh, down in Jeffersonville, Indiana um, where the plan was to unveil the jersey and, and Drew was going to actually come in uh, for that uh, event. Uh, I guess the one unfortunate uh, part of the story throughout all the great things that the story is, is Drew's uh, flight uh, was canceled due to weather, so he couldn't be there in person. But Drew, ever thoughtful and, and always wanting to not disappoint, uh, uh, did a quick video. So tonight, in front of all of you, um, we are making the big announcement. We are making the big reveal. Here is John Wooden's original jersey that will reside in the halls of Mackey Arena forever. We consulted with a number of folks uh, who have done, you know, museums and memorabilia displays uh, 
and finally settle on a company out of Kentucky that uh, obviously it's quite an investment uh, that Drew made and, and uh, we you know, pledged to take care of it. It's in Mac Arena on the concourse. Um, we also have a letter sweater uh, from John Wooden that he wore that his family uh, gave the university uh, upon uh, his passing. Well, I think Purdue did a great job helping with this display they put out. We, we decided to highlight the National Players of the Year, and we have, we've had three. We've got John Wooden, we've got Glenn Robinson, and then Stephanie White. So we made a display with all three of them. You know, I think the first thing that stands out is you compare it with uh, not only Glenn Robinson's jersey, but Stephanie White's jersey. Just the, the material is so different, the size is so different. Uh, uh, John Wooden was not a, not a large man by any stretch uh, when you compare him with, with Glenn or even Stephanie. I think it's the greatest piece of, of memorabilia that we've got on display or in our archives. To have something like this, one of the all-time you know, great basketball icons, is just phenomenal. What's better, the fact that we have it or the fact that Drew Brees loaned it to us? I mean, they're equally awesome. Through the generosity of Drew Brees, the legacy of one of the most revered players and coaches in the history of sports, will live on in Mackey Arena for years to come. We'll be back after the break.